What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today in this video we're going to be checking out my top 3 favorite 60% mechanical keyboards. We'll be taking a look at the new White Ducky 1-2 Mini RGB keyboard, the Glorious PC Gaming Race Compact, or the GMMK Compact Keyboard. This has been a fan favorite lately. And then the good old Ann Pro 2. So all three in the 60% layout. Again, if that's not for you, then don't worry about it. I know for me personally, I'm more of a fan of the 10 kilo sports. That's just, you know, kind of more my style. But 60% are very popular because it helps, you know, cut down the desktop clutter, nice and small boards overall. And obviously not going to be a review of all three individually, more so a quick little run through, highlighting the features of each and what makes them unique and stuff like that. So first off, we're going to be taking a look at the Ducky 1-2 Mini. This keyboard right off the bat is just eye candy. And since it now comes in this white variant, obviously the RGB lights are going to shine and pop really nicely. And it's nice that they added an all white variant to the lineup because as you guys saw and I reviewed a few months ago, the black Ducky 1-2 Mini RGB looks just as nice, but now you have the option to pick between the reverse color. Now one of the things I'm going to do to customize my unit is I picked up the now very popular putting shine through keycaps, but in the new white color as well, so I can match the whole board and still make that RGB shine even more, which is going to be crazy. You guys have seen these before in, again, the black color. I've used them with, in a lot of keyboard videos and stuff. And we're even going to preview these in a minute because these are actually from Glorious, the black ones are. But the new white ones, obviously it has that, like, the side of it is translucent so it shines through. Really just going to help accentuate everything. And obviously I'll put a link for you guys down below if you want to check out the key sets um, and these keyboards. But yeah. So the 1-2 Mini just looks really nice. I'm a fan of the lift edges. I haven't really seen this on any other keyboard before, you know, aside from like custom ones and stuff. The top of the case is a matte white with a glossy white finish on the backside. They have their branding on the back right quarter of the board, and on the left side is the USB-C port. Then flipping it over, we have two flip-out feet, so you can decide the elevation of the back of the board. You don't see this too often, that's definitely a nice touch. Plus four dip switches. This is for swapping things like the window key, the function key, if you're using this on, say, like a Mac or something like that. It's detailed in the manual, but nothing else too out of the ordinary. Inside the box, along with the keycap puller, they include 10 additional PBT keycaps of a random color, although everyone I've seen who has the whiteboard also got this light like baby blue color. And they also said some boards will also have a Year of the Pig spacebar. Now in my unit, I have cherry brown switches, uh, but at checkout, you can also pick from cherry black, blue, red, silver speed switches, and silent red switches to pick from. We'll do a sound test of these browns so you can hear how they sound. Now moving on, I'm not going to show you all of the RGB effects because we would be here for hours if I did every one for all three of these keyboards, but I'll show you a few. And there actually is no software that comes with this board in particular, at least not as of like right now. Everything is done on the board. So switching profiles, creating and recording macros is all done on board, as well as picking between all your RGB lighting effects. And navigating through all the RGB effects is by holding function, alt, and T. You could cycle through the effects there. And for a certain ones, when it wants you to pick a certain color for an effect, Z, X, and C will light up. That's you can control the individual RGB effects, literally the RGB, and really pinpoint a color. But to make it easier, if you just press space, then all the keys will light up and you can just then pick which color you prefer and then go from there. So it is a bit more tedious having to do everything from macro managing to all the RGB on board as opposed to just having something easy like software. So that's kind of a downer. But then you factor in this is only a $100 keyboard. It's $99, which is extremely budget friendly for a keyboard with all these capabilities and the overall quality. Then next up is the GMMK Compact from Glorious. So what I love about this keyboard is just how minimal it is. It looks really nice and stealthy with that aluminum plate. 
And as you saw from the stock keycap, since the plate is black, the RGB lights um, shine decently well. But then when you pick up, you know, the extra set of the Aura keycaps, where it's those PBT double shot shine through ones, that's when the RGB really comes to life here. And this keycap set can also be purchased through Glorious. But for me, I think the big selling point to this and where it separates itself from the rest of the keyboards out there is the fact that these have hot swappable switches, meaning you can just without soldering or desoldering, you just take the switch out of the PCB and then swap it with whatever other switch you want. Cherry, Kale, Gateron, that's some customization. So in this set here, I had the Cherry MX Browns, but I picked up the Kale Pro Purple switches to swap them out with. Browns and purples are very similar. I think uh, the only real difference here is that the pro purples require 50 grams force while browns are 45, but they're both pretty linear. Inside the box is a key switch puller. The whole process is very simple. You just press in those pins and easily wiggle it out and then pop a new one in and you're good to go. Some extra added goodies include their red Ascend Escape key and a nice glorious Bearded Man Windows key. I will say the only thing I'm kind of bummed about is the fact that it is micro USB and not USB type C. But let's be real, we'll get over it. So the board itself is just $60. You can then pick from a pack of 120 switches, ranging from around $30 to $35, depending on which one you choose. Or you could skip this and save some money if you already have your own switches. Then keycaps are either $20 for a normal set or $25 for the Aura Shine Through set. So you can spend as little as just $60 for the board. Then the most expensive this can be is $120, which is still just a crazy good value. And then yes, of course, there's also software for this board. It's very easy to use. You can go in and switch between the three onboard profiles. And here's you can also go in and really reconfigure each key of what they do from certain macros and stuff that you can record and set. Just change what the key is to maybe something like a multimedia control. Any sort of those usual functions that you would see from other companies and other software out there, you can do here as well. And then for enabling the RGB lighting, one thing I'm a big fan of that not enough companies do is show you real time the effect in the software. So you have that on the keys and there are just tons of different ones to pick through, tons of different effects. And it gives you the full option to change the speed, the direction for some of the effects. You could pick to have, you know, some of the effects to certain static colors or one color or toggle the colorful mode to have the 16.8 million RGB um, effects going on and stuff. But yes, very easy to use software, lots of customization right at your fingertips. And like I said, I just like that you can see the effects real time. Like I said before, not gonna show you each RGB effect individually, but you can get a good idea of how it looks, especially with this Aura keycap set. It's gonna add some pop to your desktop. But now we'll do a sound test of the Kale Pro Purple Switches. So again, just complete customization here from different keycaps to actual key switches that you could easily swap out and make your very own keyboard. And then we have the Anne Pro 2 keyboard. And the big thing about this is not only is it very budget friendly and between 80 to $90, depending on where you buy it, it's also a wireless mechanical keyboard. So you can use it wired or wireless over Bluetooth. And that could definitely be an appealing feature to certain people. Taking a look at it, the footprint is very, very small. Probably one of the tiniest compact 60% keyboards I've seen. The frame around the board is just extremely thin. And you can get this board also in either black or white. Now, one of the things Albans Lab does with the Ann Pro 2 is include extra colored accent key sets. We have teal, green, pink, purple, and yellow included inside the box. You can kind of add them to your keyboard if you want, switch it up, add a little pop of color here and there. You get the keycap puller and a red USB-C cable. Kind of an odd color choice because they don't even include red keycaps, but I digress. And this board, unlike the other two, does not feature flip out feet. But then back to the main feature of this being wireless, obviously that has its advantage for some people, but this can also connect to up to four devices at once. So say, you know, a laptop, your phone, a tablet, your PC, anything like that. Switch between all four to switch of a button. And just right now, I'll show you guys, I have it connected to my phone. Hopefully you can kind of see the screen. I don't know, but it's connected wirelessly. And uh, that's one thing that the other two keyboards don't have. And it's a feature that not a lot of mechanical keyboards out there feature. 
In terms of switches, yet again, I have Gateron Browns in this unit. We can also pick these up in different variants from Gateron Brown, Blue, and Red, with the Cherry equivalent of Brown, Blue, and Red available as well. We'll do the sound test now for the Gateron Browns. Before we wrap it up, in terms of RGB lighting, it's also controlled on the board itself. And you can note the flickering that is not actually on the board, it's just with the camera settings. And despite me adjusting my shutter speed, it did not seem to fix the flickering. Probably due to the quality of the actual LED lights, because as you can see, they are not nearly as bright as the other two keyboards, nor are the colors as saturated. But using function F9 is how you can toggle between the different lighting effects and the modes, as well as the brightnesses with F10 through F12. And yes, there's also software for this where you can go in and as you'd expect, create the macros, switch up all the different keys to be different functions and stuff, as well as, you know, control the RGB lighting and stuff through here. Software is like a love it or hate it kind of thing, I understand, where you could obviously take advantage of it to quickly change everything up and have more details right in front of you, as opposed to tediously doing it on the board, but at the same time, it's just another extra step of ins installing something on your keyboard, so yeah. All in all, it is a pretty solid keyboard for the price out there. I know a lot of people who are getting into the whole keyboard enthusiast community, they start out with AND Pros because they are so affordable. And with it being 60% and customizable in the sense that you can you know, get different switches for it and customize the keycaps and stuff to make it your own, it's definitely a good starting point. But I think out of the three, probably one of my least favorites compared to the other two, but these are still my top three favorite out there on the market. So like I said before, it's a little overview of my top three favorites out there, not an in-depth review, but I feel like each one has their own, you know, kind of thing that makes it special. And they're each kind of, you know, features that kind of edge the other ones out there on the market. I think, you know, just taking a quick little recap, the Ducky 1-2 Mini, is one of those keyboards that's like the jack of all trades. It's good at everything. Uh, the GMMK Compact is great because it has the hot swappable switches. You can really customize the board. And the AM Pro 2 and the fact that it's also a wireless mechanical keyboard is pretty awesome as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll put a link for you in the description down below in case you want to check any of the three out as well as all the keycaps. If you like this video, you want to see me more do, you know, other keyboard related stuff in the future, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button down below as well as dropping a comment. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.